Today, we're going to learn how to keep our team up to date with industry news and events using AI and Make.com. News travels so fast and so quickly that keeping up to date with industry activities gets exhausting really quickly. Keeping your team up to date with these activities can also feel like a full-time job, especially when you're a startup company. Keeping track of what's happening where and when can be overwhelming sometimes. But it doesn't have to be that way. What if there was a way you could automate this entire process? Well, there is, and we're going to show you how using Dumpling AI, Slack, and Make.com. The first thing we're going to do is add the Dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the Search Google News action. This is how we're going to gather all news events regarding our industry. Our search query for this demonstration is going to be AI startups, and we're going to want to limit our results to the first five results. We're going to leave the rest of the field blank, but we do want our news language to be English, so we'll use the language code EN. And we want to get articles from this past week, so we'll select that in our options. We're going to add another dumpling AI module, but our action is going to be the scrape URL action. We're going to scrape the links to our results from our previous dumpling AI module. Let's run our scenario and check for the results. Just to recap, what we're doing right now is retrieving news articles from Google News and scraping those articles for their content. So far, so good. Our results looking okay. The next thing we're going to do is add a third dumpling AI module, and our action is going to be the generate an AI agent completion module. Now, before we continue, Let's hop on over to our Dumpling AI dashboard and head over to the Agents section. This is where we build custom AI agents for our automations. We're going to create an agent from scratch, one that's specifically suited for our needs. We're going to give it a name and a description. Now we're going to add a prompt. We've written one down already, so we're going to copy and paste it. The key to a successful agent is providing it with a detailed list of actions to follow. For our demonstration, we're asking our agent to summarize news content whilst identifying and retaining key points. Now an important part of building AI agents in Dumpling AI is our ability to add different Dumpling AI tools to our agents. Tools like search Google Places generate an AI image and even make.com webhooks.
we're going to be adding the scrape URL tool to our agent. Let's copy a link from Google and test out our AI agent in our playground. As you can see, the agent is calling on the scrape URL tool in order to provide a result. It works, and we've got our result. We're going to copy our agent ID and hop on back to make. Let's paste it, and we're going to give our agent the user role. Its content is going to be our content from our previous Dumpling AI module. Finally, we're going to add the Slack module, and our action is going to be the create a message action. Now, just in case you're not familiar with setting up Slack and make.com, we're going to take a slight detour and show you how you can set this up yourself. First, we're going to head over to api.slack.com and we're going to click on the Create New App button. We're going to pick the Start From Scratch option, let's give our app a name, and let's pick a workspace to install it in. Now we're going to copy the client ID and the client secret and paste those in make.com, but we're not going to save our connection just yet. You see, we're not done with our setup yet, so those keys would be completely useless to us if we ever stopped here. Let's head over back to Slack and pick on the OAuth and Permissions section. First, we're going to scroll down to the Redirect URL section and paste a redirect URL we got from Make. You can find this URL in the Slack help page on Make.com. There's actually two, one for users and one for bots. We're going to be using the URL for bots. We're going to scroll over to the Scopes section, and this is where we select the permissions and functions we want our Slack app to perform. You can pick as many as you'd like, but you have to pick the chat right scope. That is the most important scope for our demonstration. Let's head over back to Make and save our Slack connection. Now that we have authorization, let's choose our channel. As for our text, we're going to choose the generated text from our Dumpling AI agent. Let's run our scenario and check our results. To recap, we're searching Google News for the latest news in our industry, we're scraping the URLs from those news sites, our AI agent is summarizing the scraped content, and we're sending that summarized content to our Slack channel.
And just like that, our scenario is a success. Let's hop on over to Slack and give it a look. As you can see, we've got a summary of industry news for the past week, keeping our team up to date. Remember, you can always play around with the AI agent in Dumpling AI to get longer or shorter results. Maybe results with a little bit of an attitude in them, or some wit if your team has got a sense of humor. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.